Hey everyone, it's Amy and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these gold leaf nails. So to start off, I do have my nails prepped, filled, and ready to go. And I am sticking with the short nails. I did chop my nails last time I did them and I did a dip powder set because I did move so I could not handle the long nails. And I am moved in now and mostly unpacked, but I'm still kind of decorating and getting stuff done. I'm still setting up the nail studio. So I decided to go ahead and keep my nails short for right now. I had the dip powder set on for four weeks and I had popped one. So I went ahead and just uh, filed off the dip powder. I filled them in and then I changed the shape up. They were just super short rounded and since I had grown a little bit of length I decided to kind of make them more almond shaped and I just want to walk you through this super simple be easy nail design that's good like intro into fall design so I did buff my nails cleanse them with alcohol and this yellow shade that I'm using is honey mustard from Madam Glam this color would definitely be in my top picks for fall from Madam Glam. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if that is a video you would like to see. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments as well. And I did decide to do three coats of this color, mostly because I just wanted that third layer as just an extra strength because I did keep my overlay very, very thin. The dip powder overlay was quite a bit thicker. So since I was sticking with gel this time, I went ahead and just did a third layer of the gel polish just to give an extra layer. I don't know if it really helps much in the thickness but i went ahead and did it anyways though this color is very pigmented on its own And after I got the three coats of honey mustard on, I did pull my Madame Glam Gold Flake No Wipe Top Coat. And I added this to my ring finger as well as my thumb. This Gold Flake Top Coat on top of the yellow is just so beautiful. It creates a really nice, easy accent nail. Madam Glam does have a couple of these different kind of like topper top coats, but the gold flake one is hands down my favorite one they've come out with so far. And I feel like, especially from fall into holidays, I'm going to use this all the time. So if it's in stock, I know this one's been going in and out of stock. You need to add it to your next order. After I've added the gold flakes, I decided to go in with some stamping. My original thought was I was going to stamp some leaves in like a burnt orange or a red, like a rich red shade, but I loved the gold on top of the mustard yellow so much that I decided to go ahead and stamp some leaves in gold. So this stamping plate is the Fall in Love collection number two from, I believe this is Mo You London. It is a nice, just overall different leaves, different styles of leaves. And I'm going to take one of the like long viney ones. And I'm gonna use clear jelly stamper number 51 for the stamping polish. This is a 
gold stamping polish, but it's not a yellow gold. It's more of like a champagne gold, which matched the gold flakes almost perfectly. So I go ahead and I stamp the leaves first, and these ones are layered. The image I picked out is a three-step layer, but I decided to keep it simple. I'm only doing a two-step. I didn't want to add in a lot of detail. I just wanted it to be simple. So I'm doing the leaves in the gold, and then I go back in and I do the veining for the leaves in a brown. And I did use Clear Jelly Stamper number 31, which is a medium brown shade for the vining. And I do clean up my stamping plates with pure acetone, gets it all off. I just wipe it down with a cotton round full of acetone. And now it's time for top coat. I will be using my Light Elegance's Super Shiny. And I am going to go over the gold flake nails with the Super Shiny as well. Even though the gold flakes is a top coat, I need a stain resistant top coat since I do hair. And I keep saying this, but if Madame Glam would come out with a stain resistant top coat, that's the one I would be using. But for now, I will be using the Light Elegance Super Shiny. And I do a second coat of top coat over the stamping nail. I don't normally show that in videos, but since this was such a super quick video, I decided to show it in here now. I'm just going back over just that one nail that has the stamping on it to really seal it in. And here's what the nails are looking like right out of the lamp. I do take some cuticle oil. This one is from Nail Queen Studio. It's their Skin Treats Cotton Candy. I did purchase this from Talia Shop, Flora Nail Shop. I believe these particular ones are out of stock, but they are amazing. I have this cotton candy one and then I have a berry one which I gave to my mom. They smell so good and they are so hydrating. So I use the nail oil to cleanse off the tacky layer off the nails and then I just rub in the rest and add some lotion to my hands. So here's how my nails came out. I absolutely love the simplicity and I love the honey mustard with the gold accents super simple but it gives it a little bit of design a perfect intro into fall nails without going to pumpkin everything and this honey mustard always reminds me of sunflowers so i put my sunflower background i did do a sunflower nail design last year i will leave a link in the description box down below i did it on some press-ons i did a giveaway of course this giveaway is now closed because this video is from last year but you can still go and watch the nail tutorial if you want more of an actual sunflower design but if you like more of the simple design something like this would be perfect for an intro into fall. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy my tutorials. Let me know what other designs you would like to see for fall and then Halloween, which is coming up real soon. Make sure you are subscribed for all those tutorials coming out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.